All right, I got a Kitchen IQ knife sharpener. Today that I'm gonna go over real fast. Um, it's a pretty slick little thing. I use it all the time for all my different knives. Let me do a little example for you real quick. So this is my knife without it. Um, take, I'm not putting, I'm putting actually quite a bit of pressure on it. Cut through it, that's straight down. Here's slicing. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this. I wasn't real sold on it at first. Um, so there's a couple strokes with that one. Now we'll do this other piece. Run it through. It's got two different things. It's got a coarse and a fine. I usually do about three courses and then three fines. I'll just grab a different potato. Um, so here's pushing straight down. Uh, went into it a little bit, it's not a whole lot better. Let's see what a slice does. So I'm putting hardly any pressure on it now. Um, it slices significantly easier with it. Like I said, I've used it on everything. I use it on all my different kitchen knives um, over here. And then I use it on my hunting knives as well. It's a pretty good little thing. Um, a couple bucks off Amazon. It's helped with those deer up there to get them all butchered up and taken care of. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, like I said, I use it on all my knives, my hunting ones, um, for all sorts of different things. Uh, for 20 bucks, I don't think you can really beat it. But I do use this one every now and then. Um, takes a little bit more skill, not as much. Where on the Kitchen IQ, you just take and you follow the grooves, run it straight through them. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.